everyone, Morgan here in the Aerial Foundation Team Makerspace, and today we're going to be showing you how to make your very own corn husk person. So what you're going to need is a paper towel, jute rope, yarn, scissors, and corn husk. And also you need a container that you can put some water in. All right. Let's get started. All right, guys, so now that you have everything you need to start your corn husk doll, the first thing that we're going to do is dry off the corn husks. I would let these soak for about 20 to 30 minutes before you pull them out. The reason is because if you use regular corn husk without dampening it, they'll rip. So this makes sure they're soggy enough that they're flexible. Okay, so once you have everything pretty much dried off so it's not dripping. It still needs to be a little damp so we can still work with it for a little bit of time. So the first thing that you need to do is find a few pieces that you don't want on the outside of the corn husk doll. So we're going to take the ends that are the skinniest, so these. you have six, you want to separate them, but first you want to take these pieces, let me move these guys, All right, we're going to take some of our jute, and we're going to tie the top part, we're going to tie it really tight, and you want to double knot it. Right. And you're gonna fold it over. And then this will be your doll's head. All right. And if you don't like how the outside looks, you can always go and add a better piece to the middle of that. like that, but I like it how it is. So once you get that, separate that. And then if you want to add hair, we're going to take the yarn, cut a little piece off, go ahead and tie it underneath like that. just make a little knot and we're not going to trim this off so just leave it like that next we're going to make the head so once again take your jute cut a piece off and then we're going you can make your head a little bigger a little smaller I'm gonna do it right here down a little more and again tight really tight all right and then just tie a double knot so it does not come undone okay. this part you can trim off Alright, so now we kind of have an alien <laughs> or a bug person, but it'll get better. Alright, so next we're going to make the arms. So take another one of your corn husks and just roll it like so. 
If you don't want all of that, cut that off. I'm gonna cut it at an angle a little bit. Oh, nice, look, could be a Hawaiian skirt. Perfect. <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna add a little bit more to the other side. So just put that one inside of it and then roll it up. And once again, I'm gonna cut a little bit of this off at an angle. Make sure it's all rolled up, like a fruit roll up. All right, now you're gonna find the middle again. So we did six, so three on one side and three on the other. So we're going to separate it and then just put the arms like so. Push it up so it's really close to the neck. All right, there's that. So next we're going to find the waistline. So I would say it's about right here. Again, take some jute, a little bit of a longer piece. Then you can get a better grip on it. I'm gonna tie it there. On the other side, and then double knot. All right, so you might have noticed these things at the end. Go ahead and just trim those off. Once you have that, you can go ahead and either cut the arms a little bit shorter so it matches the height of your person. And then take a little bit more jute pieces. All right, and then we're going to wrap the hands. These will be their wrists, so you have a little bit more definition. Tie it really tight, flip it over, and tie a double knot. And then you'll start to see there is a back side, so all my knots are on one side of the person. Once you do that, you can start pulling these apart a little bit if you would like to give them a little more finger looking. Because it does rip pretty easily. There you go. Awesome. Ooh, dancing. You can also fold them around if you want them to be holding something. Just gonna leave her like this for now. Okay. So if you want hair, go ahead and take your yarn. If you got a craft bag, we'll supply this for you. But if you want hair, go ahead and start wrapping the yarn around your four fingers. Once you get a normal amount of hair, depending on how much you want. Going to find the end and just take your scissors, be very careful. Just go ahead and cut all the way through. It's a fast way to get a lot of strands. Great. So I want my person to have bangs, so go ahead and trim a piece. Go ahead and tie this and double knot it. All right, so now with the alien antennas, that's where you're going to tie it on 
to the doll. Not great. So take these, find the spot you want, and tie it on. So she's looking a little scary. <laughs> I'm gonna trim some of her bangs. Give her a nice little haircut. All right, so that's after you get the hair on. So if you don't want them to have a skirt, you can do pants. So it's really easy. You just find in the center of each layer. And if they rip, that's all right. Just rip in the spot that you want. Go all the way up to the waistline. Or at least separate them enough where you can have two equal sides. All right. Makes a nice layering effect too. Go ahead and take some of your jute, cut two pieces, and with one you're going to tie around where the ankles would be. Once so again, really tight. Flip it over and double knot it. the other side, line them up, tie it tight, flip it over, and double knot it. We could even give them a little skirt with this extra stuff that we had. So if you want to add some clothing to it, make it however you want. And then this is kind of already a skirt shape. So I'm just going to take, I'll take some of my black yarn so it matches my hair. I'm just going to tie it right around where the waist would be. Right now they got a fun little skirt. It's awesome. Go ahead and cut that off. And there you go. That is your fun little corn husk person. And you can make them however you want. You don't have to add the hair. In my example over here, they're very, very different. I made a little little apron on this one out of the corn husk itself. Get a lot of different colors with each one that you make and i think they're very beautiful and a very fun decoration to have around thanksgiving all right guys i hope you liked it and i'll see you next time <laughs>